Strawberries are, are everyone's favourite soft fruit, I think. Um, very, very easy to grow. Um, you can plant them thanks to sort of cold store runners and, and that sort of thing, which is sort of held in suspended an animation. Um, you can plant them virtually all year round, really. Um, certainly from March right the way through to, to the autumn. Now, these plants we've got here um, are runners that I bought last year, and they've been in pots now for, for, for nearly a year. They, they produced their first fruit last season, um, just a few, uh, and they've been outside. Um, and if you want some early fruit, and you do grow a few in pots like this, you can get the earliest pickings by um, bringing them inside and putting them in a cold greenhouse or a, a polytunnel or even a cold frame. Um, if you haven't got any of those, then you can cover them with a cloche, something like a, a bell cloche outside, just one over each individual plant. Um, or if you've got your strawberries planted outside, it, actually in the ground, then you could just cover the, the whole, th whole rows with a, with a cloche, just to give them a little bit more warmth um, and to get them fruiting a bit earlier. Now, <clears throat> we're talking, we're doing this in March, so this is the time to bring them inside. They've been outside all winter, as I say, and that's really important because they do need the cold um, to get them to flower in the spring. If they're too warm all winter, all you'll tend to get is a load of leaves uh, and no fruit come the following year. So it's important that they've been outside. But say, March time now, end of February, March, good time to bring them in uh, and give them that bit of extra warmth. They're looking a bit, bit sorry for themselves at the moment. Uh, they honestly were really lovely plants when we got to the end of the season last year, but they've say they spent the winter and been battered by the wind and everything. Perfectly okay. All you need to do um, is trim them up um, either with a knife or scissors or whatever, just get rid of the old leaves. Try not to damage the crown of the plant, which is the little bit right in the centre where there's a, a tiny bud. Make sure you don't damage that. Um, but as long as that's untouched, and this plant's actually got, it's split now, so it's actually got a couple, then it's fine. All the old leaves might harbour some pests, so we want to get rid of those. So we'll go around the plants and do that. You could, if you want to, just top up the compost a little bit in the top of the pot. Just a little bit of fresh compost, but don't do too much because you don't want to bury the crown. So just a little bit over the top. If there are any weeds in here, pull those out at the same time. Um, and that's, that's all you really do. Bring them inside. As I say, don't really need any heat. Um, you know, they're a hardy plant. They don't like lots of heat. But just bring them into a cold greenhouse and that would give them just enough extra temperature, and that's just a few degrees extra to get them into growth early. Um, what you could also do, once they do start growing, is just get some fertiliser like uh, pelleted chicken manure or grow more, anything like that. Chicken manure if you like to be organic, grow more if you're not too, too, too worried. And just put a little bit in the top of the pot and just rake it into the, the surface. Um, that, that's probably more into April when they've started to grow. But just for the moment, just bring them in. Don't forget to water them. Um, very easy at this time of year, perhaps in February time, coming into March, and there's not quite so much going on in the greenhouse to sort of put them, put them in a corner and forget about them. Outside of winter, obviously, they've been well watered. As soon as you bring them in, you've got to start watering them. Um, and you know, they're depending on you then for water and food. Other thing I would do, once they get into growth, you've put your little bit of grow more or whatever, your chicken pellets around the top. Um, when you really get into, when they really get into growth later, so you're sort of talking late spring, early summer, if you're watering other plants with a tomato food, you know, high potash liquid feed, give these some as well. Um, and that will really encourage flowering and fruiting. So that's it really, it's that simple. It's just a, a quick way of, of getting your earliest fruit and just stretching the season, because we all love strawberries. Um, and you can stretch it sort of from really early, early June. Um, the ones outside will be fruiting from mid to late June. So it just pushes the season forward by maybe three or four weeks, two or three weeks, depending on where you are in the country.